All right, so before I say goodnight, uh, I wanted to talk about, um, so in my last few videos or, 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 or whatnot, um, I've been talking more about, and I wanna break this into two sections. <clears throat> so I've been talking about a lot about the choice and like things you can do or things you should do, um, success, goal setting, uh, uh, personal uh, 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 feedback, uh, uh, self-reflection and things like that and putting it into perspective. Um, so I wanted to talk about another thing. So, I mean, look, <clears throat> the work or the business that you choose, that, that you do in your life is your choice. Whatever kind of work or, or, or business, even your lifestyle, it, it's really your choice. You know what I mean? You, um, I mean, you don't have to be friends with some people, you, you, you know, and, and you can be friends with other people. Um, and those, that's all about choice in life. So it's the same way. Um, you don't have to choose the particular organization that you want to join. Uh, you have, you can choose from different organizations. You can choose from different businesses, different fields, different careers, and you can choose everything in your life. But, uh, but that's what I've been talking about recently. And, and what I wanted to talk about today was kind of, or tonight, before I say good night, is, um, a little bit about belonging. Um, kind of like, like your raw material, you know what I mean? Like, like who you are, um, where you belong, uh, you know, things like, things like that. That's, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. <clears throat> now, um, I, uh, so I know that, um, the same disciples, uh, officially, um, there's two words in there, there's a disciple and then there's Satan's. And I've talked. I, I think I've talked about that before. It's very clear. Um, uh, the satanic concept is not uh, a, a, like a church kind of concept. It's more of a kind of an immature concept mixed with success and greed and and, and, and being um, a bit evil and uh, a bit um, um, getting the edge. You know, um, taking someone. Uh, um, Maybe um, getting rid of someone you don't like, uh, who's maybe in your business, I don't know, whatever, right? And um, um, having, uh, dealing with any kind of, you know, it's just, uh, how can I wrap this up? Uh, it's, it, 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 you know, you know what, just, um, it's good enough. It's good enough. I, don't need to, I don't need to say more. And then we, we know we have the MLDs. Now, um, everybody knows that the SDs are affiliated with the MLDs. Uh, they're both disciples, by the way. Um, but the MLD <clears throat> stand for uh, Maniac Latin Disciples. Um, and the key word is Latin. Um, so that's an important thing. Now, I brought that up because it is an affiliation. Um, and I don't believe that the way I started out in my life was really, um, and the way I was continuing was really was was more choice concept based um not understanding who you are kind of thing um versus um and a lot of people who start at level zero have that issue they get to high school and they're thinking fuck i don't know what i'm gonna do i have no idea about anything i mean will i be an accountant do i want to get a law degree uh do i want to get into business like people don't know and then and, and typically you start from zero you don't have those advantages and, and it's going to take you to they say typically it takes to like 30 years old to, to when you when you hit that middle age point to start really um looking for for things like that or or, or for looking for you know kind of getting clarity on that but um uh, anyways going back um so that's these are are affiliated with mlds um and I think that's a good thing. The other thing with MLD, there's a maniac disciple, right? And then there's a Latin, right? So the Latin thing is big. The Latin is, is in the name. It's one of the three letters, so it's big. Uh, the, the aspect of the whole Latin thing. Um, now Latin uh, originally, is, I mean, as far as we know, Latin, uh, the language originated somewhere around the Vatican or Rome or somewhere in Italy is where the, the Latin language originated. <clears throat> and I believe in the Vatican, they, they still speak the, uh, the original ancient uh, Latin language. Um, but Latin did get broken down into other languages. Um, and from what I know is that, uh, or, or what I learned, and this is something I learned in, in, in a language class, that, um, that Latin is also known as um, 
well, there's something known as the Romance languages that all originate from Latin. And the two that I can remember are French and Spanish. So Spain, um, the origin of their language, which is their language is Spanish and the origin is Latin. In France, the language is French, the origin is Latin. Uh, if you don't know, uh, Spain um, historically has had a big Catholic influence. Uh, they are quite devout when it comes to the Catholic religion, uh, when it comes to Christianity, when it comes to Jesus, there's full of churches and stuff like that. And if you didn't know, uh, the conquistadors took the Catholic religion from Spain and conquered all of Latin America. Um, and Latin America is pretty much, um, is, is big it, it, to, to have an idea of how big it is. It, it's a whole continent. It's, it's a huge place. Um, so the conquistadors did, did conquer that and then, and then sent the Catholic religion over there. And today all those Latin American countries are predominantly Catholic. Um, Spain also had a Muslim presence. Um, and I, I don't know if it was in the 1600s, maybe 1700s, around the 1600s, supposedly. Nobody really knows. Around then, um, they did something. I, okay, so they called their guys the conquistadors who conquered. So they called it the reconquista, which is like the reconquering. And they reconquered Spain, basically, and they kicked out all the Muslims um, to Africa. Uh, uh, to Morocco and then from Morocco, wherever they went, they went, but they kicked them out. Uh, apparently Africa and uh, the Muslims in Africa sent an army to Spain uh, to fight against his Reconquista and claim Spain back and they lost. Uh, Spain was successful in reconquering its country. Spain is just north of Morocco and it is the southern, it's like the tip of Europe that, and, and Morocco is the tip of Africa. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so Spain is is pretty much Latin. That's why it's called Latin America. <clears throat> Every country there, and all the countries there predominantly speak Spanish, which is Spain uh, Spanish language. Therefore, the MLDs, uh, because there's a lot of Hispanics in America, in Chicago and places like that, uh, the MLDs uh, put Latin in their in in their name as the Maniac Latin Disciples. Um, so they can, you know, so that they, they actually are Latin. That brings me to the point of choosing and belonging. So I, I, I started, with, I chose to start with the SD, with the same disciple. <clears throat> and um, the affiliation was MLD, which is Latin disciple. And I know that naturally I belong with it. I'm glad to have an affiliation. Um, and I'm glad to be affiliated with, with a Latin, with an actual Latin organization. Um, now, sorry, I, I, I made one error here and, and I made a mistake and, and, and I hope I'm not wrong. Now, Italy was supposed to be the capital and the heart. They have the capital and they, they were supposed to be the heart and the origin of the great Roman Empire. And we've all heard of how amazing the Roman Empire was, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Italy was supposed to have the Roman Empire. Now, here's the interesting thing. Transylvania and Romania, the word Romania, the country's name is Romania. And if you take the INA away, it's Roman. Roman Empire. So uh, naturally would tell me that Romania um, is, is, is Latin, right? I, I, and I believe their language is Latin too, and, it, and, and its origin is probably Italian, uh, if not something close. Now, um, Romania is also the, folk, uh, the place, the origin of the folklore, the most famous fol folklore of the oldest vampire that is recorded in history was Vlad, the, Vlad Dracula. We've all heard his name, Vlad Dracula. And I talked about uh, earlier in my videos how he was captured uh, by the Turks when he was a kid, went back and fought a war against um, the Ottoman Turks. Uh, but he was supposed to be a vampire, whatnot, uh, you know, whatever that means. Uh, but all the folklore of Transylvania and Romania is supposed to be a lot of folklore that, you know, that actual vampires uh, lived or originated from, from that place. Uh, my actual father is actually, um, I don't like to, I don't, I don't even want to talk about it, but I, I, it doesn't really, I'm not going to talk about it, but I will say that I have, um, uh, now you see, I like saying Latin because I don't like it because the thing is Europe has a lot of small countries that are close to each other. People look different in each country. They have different languages and, and, and it's very different. Um, so I just like saying Latin, you know, it makes it easier, you know, rather than say, oh, Spain, Italy, Romania, whatever. 
Um, it's all Latin anyway, so it doesn't really matter what the deal is, but um, to have the Latin origin is great. To be affiliated with the Latin uh, disciples is great, the maniacs, um, and uh, the disciples. Um, and uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, the maniac Latin, so I, I, I didn't say it right, sorry, but I wanted to correct myself. It's the maniac Latin disciples. So, um, uh, what else am I, so, okay, so that's, that's the whole sense of belonging, right? Um, that's where it comes in, you know, I mean, it, you're Hispanic or, or even if you're any, if you're, even if you're straight from Spain or, you know, you guys immigrated from Spain or Italy or Romania, whatever it is, right? Romania, whatever. And you find yourself in Chicago, uh, chances are you're going to say, you know what? Um, I think I'm going to be part of the Maniac Land Disciples. In my opinion, uh, the Maniac Land Disciples is, is, is a two stone prong. And the first stone is organization, which comes out of choice. Uh, and the second part is actually belonging um, and being, being that origin. So you got two things. Uh, I, I think I explained it perfectly. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, I'm gonna wrap it up by saying uh, that that doesn't play a big factor. It doesn't matter where you go in the world. It does matter where you go in the world, sorry. But if you go to any big city, you go to New York, you go to London, Paris, uh, Berlin, um, Spain, uh, Italy, Greece, uh, wherever you go, LA, Miami, you know, um, the thing is that you will, you will almost gravitate to where you belong. I mean, um, you know, when I took a, a, a bit of a long trip, uh, I, I mean, I, you know, was quite, uh, it was just like gravitating to your origin. Like it was just uh, uh, quite an experience, which most people wouldn't find, but I did. Uh, I, found, I found it quite an experience, almost gravitating to who I was. Uh, you find yourself in a big city and that uh, Latin part of you will come out. Uh, you will start being affiliated with Latins. Um, you will find yourself doing business with Latins. Uh, you will find yourself associating with Latins and you will be part of probably the MLDs. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. We got that straight. Um, you know what? I don't really have any clear content left. I think I could talk more to explain things better. Um, okay, I'll do my best. I'll throw in another minute uh, or so. Okay, so so to wrap it up, we got the belonging and we got the choice, right? Uh, but belonging is many things, you know. Be, we, we, belonging has so much to do. You see, when you belong, let's say you belong, you you were just like, well, I'm gonna go with the lines, right? Whatever city you're in, and you go with the, you'll find lines and you go with them. You maybe you you'll even be an MLD. And you'll do that, and then you think, um, and then you find out, well, what do, what do people like me do? You know, because you're seeing people like you, you're associating with people like you, so you're thinking, what do people like me do? What do we do? Uh, what do we live like? What do we work like? What, 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 what do we have? And I think that's when you find your community, and I think that's a big thing. And it doesn't matter where you're from, what city you are, this, this thing is, it, it, it should, should be related to by you. Um, and it, you should understand that, um, you can apply that to whatever, whatever you are. Uh, it doesn't matter what you are. Um, I would like to wrap this up by saying good night. Uh, this was a two prong kind of uh, video and, um, I'm happy with it and I'm going to say good night officially.